Hello and welcome to this video on degree plans and how to use them. My name is Christian Hicks and I will be your guide today. So let's get into it. Here's a degree plan. This is a helpful and necessary tool to help guide you on what classes you need to take to graduate. Reading from the top, we have student name, student ID, and advisor name. This is where you put your name, ID, and your advisor's name. The first section we're going to be looking at is the Shriner Core. This section is located in the top left of the sheet. This section is on every single degree plan and will help you become a well-rounded person. For the core, you'll need to take different categories of classes, some more than others. To name them off, you'll need two analytical abilities, two communications, two global perspectives, one personal slash social responsibility, two engagements, one skill and resource use, and one aesthetic appreciation. To find out what classes apply to what categories, there should be printed on the back of the paper a guide telling you what classes to take for each category. Here I have the guide printed out on another page. As you can see, analytical abilities consist of science and mathematics, communication focuses on English, global perspectives are more broad with history, political science, religion, or any foreign language. Personal and social responsibility is also very broad with finance, philosophy, psychology, religion, and sociology. Engagement has a smaller class pool to choose from with only History 1301, History 1302, and Political Science 2301. Your skill and resource use will use your IDST 1301. And finally, we have Aesthetic Appreciation which has mostly the arts, art, design, music, and theater, with a small amount of English classes. Turning back to the degree plan, we'll look at these two sections. These two sections tell you the courses you'll need for your specific major. This degree plan is specific to students going for the Bachelor of Fine Arts Communication Design. But depending on your major, your degree plan will have classes you'll need to graduate. Finally, we have this last section, which consists of all your electives. This is where you put all the courses that are not applicable to your major. For example, if you are in choir, take piano classes, or take any other classes that are not related to your major, or taken by the Shriner Core, you'll put it down here. And that's really it. Take it to your advisors where well, they'll look it over and sign and date it. Then you'll sign and date it. Then you'll need to take it to the registrar where they'll process it and sign and date it. I hope this video has been helpful in teaching you on how to read and use your degree plan. Have good grades and thanks for watching.